Uh, welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, less cycling related today, or at least no cycling in this video. Uh, let me just warn you. Um, but I am going to talk about the hill climb championships this weekend. Uh, just covering a couple of things because this is going to be the last time you hear from me. Uh, unless you follow me on Instagram of course. I want to do just answer a couple of questions, maybe I'll give you some information so that, you know, come Sunday, maybe you know what's happening and well, just generally give you some information to keep you in the know. I've had a lot of questions and so have the organisers over like, you know, where can we, like, can we watch it live? Is there a live feed anywhere? Like, where, where can we keep up to date with everything? The best place will be actually on Instagram. You can either follow uh, at Struggle Hill Climb on Instagram. You can see that's their account right there. Uh, or called Dark North. Um, they might be doing some stories, some posts, maybe some reels or whatever on the day. Um, and there's also, I'm going to link it down below either in the description or the comments, a rider and spectator pack. Um, it's, a like, it's like an event handbook, so like a lot of the information about you know the sponsors, the event, the the timings, uh, how spectators are going to get there, where to park, where to watch it, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to link that down below. One other question I've had, which, to be honest, looking back at it now, we haven't actually, we've we've just sort of, like, just gone into this hill climb prep, and like obviously targeted this race, without actually saying anything about it, which is a bit strange, but. I have had the question a few times. People have asked me, where is the National Climb Championships? Does the climb suit me? To answer those, well, the event is in the Lake District, specifically on a climb in Ambleside called The Struggle. And the actual climb is 4.3 kilometers long at 8.5% average, but there's lots of changes of gradient in there. And there's even a flat section with like some twisty corners and then a really steep finish. So it's got a bit of everything, but does it suit me? Well, the answer is it does, but that doesn't mean that other climbs don't suit me. What I mean by that is like, th this just suits me a little bit better because it's longer. Um, most of you have been following for a while now, I'm sure you'll know that like the power I can do for five minutes is not that far off the power I can do for 10 minutes. Uh, there's a very little drop off there. Um, now, naturally, you can train for that, but that's something that's always been something I've been fairly good at, is going for a longer, longer duration and having a very little drop off. Um, so, this climb does suit me, but it just suits me a little bit better than the others have in the past. Uh, when we won in 2019, which is four years ago, we've waited four years for another climb that is relatively similar to that one in 2019. So, those are the two major questions that I've had um, but I would encourage you to have a look at that rider pack which I'll link down below and it also has a list of all of the um, uh, the riders uh, and all of their clubs and all of the start times there's 450 riders in total and now what's kind of interesting is that I'm last but one rider off uh, and I'll be starting at 12 59 p.m. Uh, so so the last rider off at 1, um, uh, but the first rider is off at 9. So if you were a rider that was like uh, maybe like a little bit flying under the radar, but you started really early on in the day and maybe there was less wind, well you'd get a slight advantage uh, if the wind picked up. So a bit a bit like the Grand Tours, uh, you'll see how some riders will go off really early uh, and some riders will go off late and some might get caught in the rain and some might get a dry run and that's what causes them to gain or lose time. Of course we don't get a say with things like this, we're, we're seeded. So you know I've been put uh, second to last off, um, but obviously the current British champion goes off last. Uh, if you didn't know, because, you know, uh, fair enough, a lot of people don't know this stuff. Um, so the last, I think, 10 riders, 20 riders, uh, go off with one minute gaps between them. And we line up side by side, so odd numbers and even numbers side by side. And then we set off one minute, one minute, one minute. Um, and then, but, but the majority of people up until those last uh, 20 riders or so, 
go off in 30 second intervals. So it's actually quite, it'd be quite good fun going off in 30 second intervals because you'd almost always see that, uh, you know, someone in front of you. Um, and the, the minute gaps are that much bigger. So I'm very excited. In fact, I am chomping at the bit to do this event. Uh, I have been for the last, well, I mean, since mid the middle of last week, maybe. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep myself like relaxed and cool. Um, I'm just, you know, hopefully on the day I can do something I'll be proud of. Uh, but until then, well, not until then, you're not gonna see me now until after that, unless you follow along on Instagram. I'll, you know, share behind the scenes, a little bit of stuff, but all YouTube footage I will save from now until then and do the video of the nationals and post that maybe the middle of next week so it'll probably be another week until i see you unless you're coming to the event to cheer me on or cheer us all on uh, actually if you you turn up early at uh, nine o'clock and you want to watch 450 riders or 480 riders or whatever it is go off that start ramp um or finish up this last steep bit i have a funny feeling that this year's National Hill Climb Championships is going to be like the biggest in terms of like the media attention it grabs, um, you know, the, the support, uh, the photos are gonna look epic because they always have done from this event in previous years. Uh, and, I, and I just know that Jack uh, and the organizers, uh, they've done a phenomenal job raising money as well for the, for the air ambulance uh, up in the north. Uh, and I just I just feel like this year's is gonna be it's just gonna be massive. So I'm kind of excited for all of that. I'm not just excited for you know my race and my effort. I'm I'm just excited to be a part of you know something that it, that I think is going to be mind mind blowing and it just grows every year. I know, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So if you've got any other questions, I'm not gonna like go into like who's you know on the rider list and you know riders to look out for. If you look at the list of riders, then you know you'll be familiar with a lot of names on there. Um, you know this isn't a this isn't a race preview. I'm because at the end of the day, I don't really want to look at it too much. I just want to concentrate on my own race because that's all I can do. It doesn't matter who else is on the start sheet. That's the truth. You know that's the truth. So until then, if you've got any comments or questions, let me know down below. Uh, and if you've got any suggestions as to what you want to see. Uh, you know, maybe behind the scenes over the next coming days while I'm getting ready for Sunday. Um, or if you're just happy for us to just, you know, film some bits and pieces on like how I'm pacing it. Um, you know, my nutrition in the days leading up. Uh, just general behind the scenes live stuff for that one big video from the National Hill Climb Championships. Um, then, then yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you are on the hill on Sunday, I would really appreciate it if there's any footage from you watching, um, if you can send it over to me. You can reach out to me on Instagram, um, or there might be some contact details down below it in the YouTube description. It would be really appreciated uh, because I won't be carrying a camera up for me this time. Um, so yeah, I, I will be very happy to use any footage that I can get my hands on um, from the side of the road. So that's it. I appreciate the support so, so much. I'm very at peace with this. I'm looking forward to it greatly. And I will see you on the other side.